No doubt, poor electricity supply in Nigeria has been taking its toll on Nigerians, especially small business owners. But the recent increase in electricity tariff has now been seen as another stumbling block, despite Nigerians paying for darkness. In this report, our correspondent Dele Fasan takes a look at the implications of electricity tariff increase as it affects small businesses in Nigeria. Despite huge investment in the power sector, the Nigerian power grid collapsed 46 times, according to the International Energy Agency, IEA, since 2017 till date. Although a lot of factors could be attributed to this, such as vandalism and obsolete equipment, Nigerians still see the recent tariff increase as an obstacle in the wheel of progress. The business is zero. How can we how can we function without power? I still don't understand. I mean, people should be there thinking. And now they come to tell us they are adding, they are increasing tariff for power. Tell me the, the I mean, what's the rationale? What's the rationale? You don't produce, you don't provide something, you are increasing tariff. Is it sensible? Electricity is not even available. Then you have given the contract to thieves. People who did not give you light, they will come and tell you to pay. And meanwhile, they will deliberately not give you a meter. They will tell you they are coming to collect uh, uh, estimated bees. What's estimated bees? How do you estimate what is in my house be what's in that man's house? I have only one bob and a fan to enable me to sleep. You be me the same person who has about three refrigerators, who has printing press, who has a lot of movable machines that is uh, operating machine, and yet you enter my own house and begin to violate my privacy and begin to count how many bob of light in my children's room. Are you not mad? Tell of this light issue is really, really affecting us. Because the light issue is not making us happy in our place of business. Imagine in a day, we spend more than 3,000 naira per day for just fuel. And it's really affecting the business. Please, government have to do something to this, to this light issue. An electrical engineer and rights activist expressed concern over the state of small businesses in line with high electricity tariff. I feel for the economy. I feel for the, the young the, the young guys coming into the labor industry, how are they going to, how are they going to come in? How are they going to cope? Where are the, the businesses that will employ them? The two years, three years experience, where are they going to get them from? Definitely small scale business like hairdressing salon, mechanic workshop, barbing salon, a small uh, store that need to free, uh, 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 refrigerate uh, Coca-Cola and uh, other minerals for people to buy cannot afford because there's no electricity where the electricity is too expensive and wherefore you buy a generator you cannot pay because you cannot buy the fuel if you can you cannot buy the if you can the mechanic going to pay it the price will not get it to buy so the government has failed although the national assembly has since kicked against any tariff increase at these hard times but nigerians from all walks of life believe the federal government must ensure stable power supply to cushion the effect of any increase in electricity tariff from worrying Delta state the first one reporting for galaxy news